in the league. 65 goals they've conceded so far. Only Rotherham worse, you know, not been a great season again for Rotherham, has it? That, that yo-yo club really, aren't they, between yeah. the Championship and League One? We are underway here at the Stadium of Light. Let's see if they, the conditions will play any part in proceedings this afternoon the pitch must be soaking yeah it is yeah just looking straight away yeah Gallagher has gone through the middle for Blackburn you see Dolan's come out to this left hand side down below us so that is the one change which I thought would possibly happen a bit more physicality through the middle for Blackburn sails over the top Sunderland have a throw Trey Hume picks it up Clears high towards Job. Also, Dan Neal. Ashish competes. Comes through. Smodix picks it up, though. Callum Styles has to get there. They just got themselves in a little bit of a mess. Dan Neal and Echo are leaving it for each other. Nobody dealing with it. But yeah, as you say, looking back at the game, what they played against Newcastle, I thought they were excellent, they looked full of confidence, they didn't look like a side who was struggling down the other end of the table, did they? That evening, played with confidence, moved the ball around really well. Clip forward, but cut out by Dan Ballard. Sheesh tries to play it towards Patrick Roberts. Good to see him back out in red and white this afternoon, Patrick Roberts. Yeah, from Patrick's point of view as well, can he finish the season with a, with a couple of goals or assists as well? I say he hasn't got himself a goal this season. Player of his ability, should be getting a few at least, shouldn't he? He's Dan Neal. Plays it to the left-hand side where Romain Mundell is. Styles. Crosses it, Ball. header in! Now yeah. Sheesh comes close. Yeah, it's good play, wasn't it? Mundell just slows it down, sets it for Dan Neal, and he just leaves it in the path for Callum Styles to come onto it. Decent delivery. You see it back there now, first time. In there, no Sheesh gets up really well, just can't generate the power on it he's looking for. Goes down as the, the first effort on goal, though. fans making their voices heard for the first time this afternoon traveling in decent numbers from Lancashire bank holiday Monday job under pressure but rides it well just takes a deflection he tries to play the ball forward. Yeah, held it up well initially, didn't he? Then it's just trying to feed out to this right side, gets cut out. But that's what he's going to do again this afternoon for us up against those big centre backs. Secure the ball. He's pretty optimistic about his chances as a, a striker in the post game <laughs> chat he had with our colleague Matthew. Said he wasn't bothered where he plays, but in different language. Yeah, no, I caught that, yeah, and rightly so, he said, I'm a young lad, I'm just enjoying football, really, and in a way saying, I'll play where I'm asked to play by the, the coaching staff, and yeah, it's not a bad attitude to have, is it? But yeah, I think he has been obviously brought up over the last few years, he's still only 18, by the way, isn't he? So, yeah, just you know, in, in a midfield, an 8 or a 10, really, in that, in that role, but it is a different role, you see more, more often than not throughout the game, he's going to have his back to, to the Blackburn goal, receiving the ball, looking for Alshish. Trey Hume wins the header. Here's Patrick Roberts. Goes inside. Mundell's got plenty of space if the ball can be worked to him. 
gap just closed. And Neil gets it back, though. He's Mundell. Roberts gives him it back, and again. Mundell clips on forward. Oh, just behind yeah, George. Just looking at Pierre Echo. Yeah, it's a lovely little build-up play. I see Patrick coming off this right-hand side and goes to join him with Mundell. A little, couple of give-and-goes there. You can see what he's looking for. I think he just plays it in behind O'Sheesh, but maybe Pierre Echo's the ball square of him with a bit of space to work with. Sheesh works it to remain Mundo. Takes it in his stride. Equa! Decent start this yeah, is, yeah, it's good as well. You see Mundo holding the ball up and he's waiting for the overlap from Callum Styles. Uses him as a decoy really and just sets it back into the path of Equa to strike it first time. Yep. See straight down the throat of the goalkeeper though. Yeah, bright start, generally down that left-hand side for Sunderland. This is left-hand side, Pickering. It's back to Wharton. Hyam will bring it out. Competing, it's pulled down there. Yeah, did you? Yeah, just thinking back to, to Cardiff, actually, we said, didn't we, that we mixed it up quite well, actually, where we often, for me, play in front of teams too much, but we weren't afraid to put a ball in behind Cardiff on Friday. And just early on, yeah, we've had a couple of openings down that left hand side, but we've also had a couple of opportunities to, to feed it down the channel. I think Pierre Echo had one down below us, trying to be too cute with the pass instead of just leaving it in the space in behind and making those Blackburn centre backs run back towards their own goal create a little bit of space then for the midfielders to play in. On nine, looking for Mundell, he's chasing. He's got there. Yeah, does really well there, Luke. He stepped in, didn't it? It got a little bit tight for him. He's dug a lovely, what was it, 60-yard switch out to that left-hand side for Romain Mundell. Sheesh, tries to go inside. Strong challenge from Britain. Suddenly get the throw. He's Job for Sunderland. Except for the foul. A bit strong from Higham, maybe. Yeah, it was from Higham, yeah. I think Jobus is carrying the ball across, looking for options that weren't too many on and coming together. Let's have a look at it back there. Yeah, I think it is a foul, isn't it? It's getting near the ball. Style stands over for Sunderland here. John Busby just marking out the line with the form. <laughs> Daniel floats one. Well, that keeps it alive. The keeper Ooh. didn't get there. That should be a corner. Yeah, just switch it, don't they? see. Daniel clips it up, and as we've seen time and time again from Dan Ballard, wants to go and win it, doesn't he? Gets first contact on it, and then in between, I think it's Pearson. Is it maybe Hyam in there with him? Not sure. Let's have a look. Either way, they deal with it in the end, Blackburn, don't they? Put it behind for the corner. Oh, she's on set plays. Yeah. Sunderland. Swells in. Ballard jumps again. And Patrick Roberts, up in the air once again. Dan Neal tries to get through with it. Uh, Might break for Luke O'Neill. Yeah, He's got for the corner. Does, yeah. They do well, Sunderland, to keep it alive, don't they, in there? 
Daniel as he pokes it through. Luke O'Neill thinks it's dropped before him, but Hyam does well on the cover, gets across. Again, puts it behind for another Sunderland corner. Oshish takes towards Ballard. Blackburn recover only for a moment. Here's Roberts. Nolan's gone with him. Works it back to Oshish. Struggling to clear it here, Blackburn. Yeah, there we are. Just a couple of balls he's fist in there, Oshish. And see Blackburn just, just about dealing with things. Trying to dig it out towards Roberts. Trey Hume running back to goal. Easily wins it back. Well, he makes it look easy anyway. Alshish oh. looking for Job. Yes, yeah, in bundle on the far side. Right back, Britain. They come really narrow. He had acres of space. Remain bundle on that left hand side. done by Trey Hume because Dolan was waiting for the well he was yeah one or two Blackburn players appealing for a back pass there from Trey Hume Sheesh Mundell Daniel Mundell it's another corner few corners early on, isn't it? And again, been right down that left-hand side, getting Mundell into the game. Yeah, but see Blackburn, they tried two or three balls over the top, haven't they? That one there just run on, and Trey Hume cushioning it back for Anthony Patterson. They picked it up, and one or two, as I say, Schmodix it was, and might have been Dolan as well, asking the referee for, for the back pass. into the stands there by Ryan Hedges. Yeah, excellent again, Oshish. I mentioned it was two or three games ago, wasn't it? He'd come on. Leicester game, maybe, there. Delivery into the box. Yeah. Excellent from corners. Yeah. See another one there, fist into that six-yard box. Equa. Oh, stopping it. Seems a bit of a soft one, but it's a foul nonetheless, according to the referee, John Busby. Jumps, but Haim gets out. <laughs> Trying to get something going here, Blackburn, but they haven't had much to shout about those Rovers fans yet. Pickering. Yeah, I think from there, just feel their way into the game, really. So 13 minutes gone, they've not really had any possession as such, have they? Tried a couple of balls over the top, and now Rankin Costello just caught one across his chops there off Luke 09, coming across on the cover. I think Mike Dodds will be relatively happy with the start from Sunderland. Yeah, we've had a couple of half chances at best, haven't we? But some of the play's been decent. Cross from Rankin Costello. Easy for Patterson, who rolls it out then to Dan Neal. He's got to go backwards to go forward. Well, there's a few groans there, but as it's rolled to him, there's no real pace on it, and I think it's Gallagher that's actually putting pressure on him, who's got the run on him, so I think he does the right, uh, right thing and goes back home. Dan Neal. Two players around him there. Blackburn take possession. Ekwar trying to win it back. Stretching challenge from Dan Neal right in front of the referee. Sunderland come out with it. He's Styles. Still going, Callum Styles. 
Mundell to the left. Goes inside to Alshish. Drops to Dan Neal. Can Roberts keep it in? No, no. Yeah, promising. Couple of counter-attacks there from Sutherland. Didn't make the most of the first one. I think Callum Styles caught in two minds. Does he feed it out to, to Mundell or play it square? And it got cut out. And then Dan Neal just tries to feed it out to Patrick with the surface being damp. He just skips out of play. Get back to Ainsley Pears. Good pressing from Sunderland, though. They'll try and move through the gears now. As they play the ball down the line, it's cut out by Styles, who stretches, and Britain gets it back for Blackburn. There's a few Blackburn players in the middle. If it can be delivered, it's on the edge. Rankin Costello gets oh. a shot away. It's stopped by Luke 9 Yeah, it was, and it's an important block as well from Luke. Decent strike, wasn't it? It could just seem free in the middle of the pitch there. Rankin Costello. Decent strike and a good block from Luke 9 Dolan goes inside. Ball is blocked. Goes for a corner. First one for Blackburn Rovers this afternoon. Yes, yeah, have a look at this one back now, isn't it? Hedges. Hedges down there, cuts it back. Decent first touch and a good strike into the midriff, Luke 9 I think Anthony Patterson's probably got it covered behind him, but it's a good block from the centre-back. Deflection, so it will be a sudden throw. Oh, sheesh. Looking for Job. Daniel stops the attack. Just looking at that there, as we pick the ball up there, it's good link-up play with Oshish and Styles there, and as we're coming forward, see Blackburn got a man down below, isn't it? it's Pickering, the full-back. Is it Pickering? It might even be Scott Wharton. It is Pickering, you are right, Danny. Pickering, yeah. Um, it's yeah, I'm just saying there, once we pick that, it's good play from the throw, it's tight there, we, we play out of a tight area, and uh, Oshish, but... The Blackburn bat line is only 10, 15 yards away from him there, and everybody, that we've got three or four across the front line, nobody then is looking to spin and, and, and play it in behind. I was wondering if it's something that change. Harry Pickering was carrying, because they've already got a substitute strip down there, have Blackburn Rovers. It's Ben Christian, who actually came out of the start in 11 for Blackburn. Yeah, change is happening, yeah. Early change, which they wouldn't have liked to have made. Yeah, I'm not sure if uh, Christian's more of an attacking player. I know he played out oh, on that left-hand yeah, left left side. Yeah, he's more of a winger, if anything. Yeah. So maybe on left wing-back duty today. Yeah, possibly. Or just you know, drop back in there and do a job for the team. change within 20 minutes. Just looking through the only other defender. Well, they've got a couple of defenders. All centre-halves, so they've got Hayden Carter and Kyle McFadzine on the bench as well. Yeah, it's an interesting one as well. A cold day, isn't it? He's done his warm-up, perhaps not, to, not as much as the, the starting 11 as you tend not to do when you're on the bench, but... 
try and get the ball out to Patrick a little bit more. We haven't seen much of Patrick no, have no. We so far on this right hand side. And here is Christian. Just lost a bit of momentum due to that injury. Breaks up the player, pops it forward, looking for Dan Neal. Edges, is he fouled? Referee plays advantage. Dolan shoots from distance. Yeah, good advantage from the referee there. It probably is a foul from Styles on that far side, but it drops to Dolan. He's got no pressure on him. It takes a touch and, as you see there, it opens up for him to pull the trigger, doesn't it? it just Luke O'Neill just backs bit. off slightly. He's aware of Smodix wow. to his right hand side. Drags the shot though. It's not helping ourselves on that far side. As it gets popped back to Styles, it's, it's bouncing in at him and he has to try and just clip it forward. Gives possession away. Mundell. Straightforward foul. Moving, yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's the first one, and then I think he's, he's fallen into Hedges, and they've, well, they're both feeling that one. See it back now there. Yeah, just into his feet there. Yeah, it's the first one, isn't it? The first foul, and it's Gallagher. Gallagher comes across with it, yeah. <laughs> well, round of applause you can hear. It's because Jack Clark has emerged from the dugout for the first time. Yeah, nice little ripple off the Sunderland fans. Jack Clark. Strong header from Luke O'Neill. Dolan takes a good first touch, but then is halted by Trey Hume. Roberts doing his best to help out as well. Yeah, good from Luke O'Neill, aggressive with the first one. You see that one there, runner off the back of, I think it's Pierre Equa, and he comes across down this left-hand side channel to deal with it. Christian goes inside to ranking Costello, who then goes back to Wharton. Looking for Gallagher, is he onside? He's Oy, on. flag goes up eventually. Looked tight, didn't it? Danville had a little look across. The linesman on the far side. There he is. It took him a few seconds to, to raise his flag. He's Dan Ballard. Neil winning the free kick. Yes, one of them is, goes into him there. Is it Tronstad that tries to nick it in front of him? Oh, nine tries to take quickly, too quickly. Calm down, says Patrick Roberts. <laughs> Blackburn just see, feeling the way into the game, having a little bit of possession, aren't they? And what they do when they've got possession as we win it back there, they're bombing bodies forward, looking for the ball in behind, but they keep turning it down there, centre backs. Yeah. He's now Sheesh for Sunderland. Looking for Halls. Finds Job. Christian. Hairs under pressure. Christian with a stumble. Roberts picks it up. Oh, Sheesh now. Equa. Oh, again. 
Scrappy passage of play for both sides. Blackburn away with it. There's a ranking Costello comes to Sammy Smodix. We haven't said his name much this afternoon yet. Still getting players back, but the ball still with Blackburn. Takes a deflection, but easy. Anthony passes yeah, well, it. Yeah, well, just see Pierre Eck while he's waving his arms around. I'm not sure what that is. He's going to give it away. Him and Dan Neal are having words. But just in there, the Patrick Roberts tries a little nutmeg, it doesn't come off. But then play away from the pressure, just switch the ball out to the left-hand side. We seem to be obsessed with trying to trying to feed little balls into the middle. You know, Romain Mundell, you can see it from up here, he's got acres on that far side. Why we keep trying to, you know, we're insisting on and trying to thread these little passes through bodies. Dolan, did he beat Trey Hume? No foul is given, it's just the thought. <laughs> Trey giving the old wagging the finger at the referee. One, well, no, I've not made contact with him there. And well, Dolan's holding his right knee as he gets back to his feet, asking for the foul. Yeah, Have a look, a look from this one. Mm, not really, no. There's a little look at the ref straight away, doesn't he, Dolan? Big shift looking for one of those Blackburn forwards. Equine picks it up for more nine. is back there, so lots of width on this right-hand side. Oh, sheesh. Just cannons off his chest. Christian's looked unsteady since coming on at left-back. There's one to throw in. The weather's not getting much better out there, Danny, this no, afternoon. No, it's not, no. It's a bit foggy as well. That game's gone flat as well, really, yeah, hasn't it? I thought we started OK, really, first ten minutes down that left-hand side especially, but also we had the injury and it's quite flat in the stadium. We'll keep you across all the other games of the Championship this afternoon, especially at half-time. We'll look through the latest scores in full. Of course, we'll encourage you to take part in the post-game programme. Use the hashtag AskDanny. Not just yet, though. I don't know what we're going to talk about. Sloppy, isn't it? And that's what's spoiling the game a little bit from a fan's oh, it's perspective. It's frustrating. And I know we've got almost a bird's eye view, really, and a great position on the gantry. But you can see see passes that are on. I mean, he's coming across the, I think it's uh, high on the right centre back. Dolan's got acres down below us on this side. And he goes back the other way and tries a, a clip out to the touchline, puts it out of play. And it's from both sides, really. It's frustrating to watch where the simple pass is on, but they keep turning it down. Is Wharton. Go for Blackburn on that far right hand side. And Styles looking on. Edges. Dolan. Can he get a shot away? He's thinking about pulling the trigger. Costello back to Dolan. Can't break that Sunderland back line, Blackburn Rovers. Mundell might take advantage of this. Sunderland get the throw. Mundell tries to find out Sheesh, who stayed down. Smodix against Trey Hume. Oh, slip from Roberts there. Dolan, Smodix, 1-0 Blackburn. There we go. Oh. Again, well, you can say he slipped back to Roberts there, but just we've been sloppy. I thought 10 minutes we were OK, and then after that we can't keep holding the ball. We, lo we lose it on that far side. I think Mundell tries to drop it off to Oshish. And then down below us again, as I say there, Trey Hume plays it into Patrick Roberts. He loses his foot in. Give the ball away, and then he tries to rescue it, goes diving in. And then see Dolan there. Equa comes across. Nobody's with Smodix. Danger man, top scorer in the league. 21 goals this season. Make that, no. make that 22, yeah. And we deserve that, to be honest, because I think we've not been at it. I say he's been quiet in the stadium. And that comes about, really, from the, the performance the last 15 minutes or so. An, it was such an encouraging start. It was, yeah, no, it was, yeah. See, especially down the left-hand side, we've had a couple of half chances with the header, didn't we? And 
I think Ecuador had a chance as well when it was pulled back to the edge of the box, but since then, the game's been stop-start, you can say that, but the players have got to sense it themselves out there, and I've said it, didn't I, where we're playing into bodies instead of playing away from the pressure. Yes, we can see it from up here, but I'm not sure how the players can't on there communicate with each other. Mungles had acres on that far side. We've turned him down a few times, we've gone into bodies, give the ball away, and it's gone through the team, and we find ourselves a goal down. Trey Hume trying to play it inside for Aushish. Roberts comes across with a strong challenge. Sunderland ride, get possession back. Mundell. It's Dan Ballard. Trey Hume. It's a pass to Equar. Surrounded by blue and white shirts. He did lose it there. The referee just wants a little word with him. A bit of frustration there from Pierre. Yeah, well, got surrounded, didn't he, as he's played into him. Gallagher it is, and, and Dolan get around him, and he brings Gallagher down. Big shift from Wharton. Stopped by Callum Styles. And Neil looking for Job, breaks for Mundell though. Mundell rides a challenge, Mundell still going, options left and right, runs into Bother and gets a free kick. Yeah, he does well, there's groans going up as he goes into Mundell, he, he drops it off and he could have turned with the first one, but then he gets another go at it and he drives forward. He's brought down, was he, 25 yards or so from the Blackburn goal. That's the skipper, isn't it? Wharton. Last chance. Yeah, a few boos there. Some of the fans wanting to win the referee's notebook, but he I doesn't. Think that's fair enough because I challenge Equine. Yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah, I think you know. I think it's a foul. Yeah, to be honest, I don't think it's anything more. Decent shooting range though for the likes of uh, Alshish, uh, Patrick Roberts, or someone like that. Yes, yeah, Alshish. I'm saying he's through. We got Equine on the left foot as well, but I think. Oh, she fancies it. See what happens. <laughs> oh, sheesh! Hits the wall. Equa hits the wall. Ballard, can he get there? No. Yeah, two decent strikes, wasn't it, though, Sheesh, but fortunately straight into the wall, and then Equar as well on the follow-up. See it back. Yeah, Gallagher, the first one. And then, I'm not sure it was there, Costello, I think it was, throwing his body at it for the second one. over there at the moment. Oh, Mundell goes down. Is that a push? The nudge in the back, was it? He needs to get back up. Sullen still had the ball here. O'Neill. Roberts. Trying to make way as he normally does. So frustrating afternoon so far, Patrick. Yeah, can't get into the game, can he? Patrick Roberts. Man's got around him there. It's, oh, it's, it's a free kick on the edge, has he given? I think he's given a free kick against Patrick, but if anything... Well, I'm going to argue that. I say if he's given a foul, I think it's in the box. We'll see it back now. I don't think it's much in it. He, he leans into... Uh, is it Chris in that's come off the bench? Let's yeah. have a look. Yeah, he's running back in. Watch and that then, Watch that line. Oh, well... <laughs> Let's have a look back now. It's in the box. Oh, no, it's probably just, just... I don't think it's a foul, to be honest. I think he leans into him, but I don't think it's a foul. Very generous from the referee. Good opportunity for Blackburn, though, edge of the box. A little discussion going on there. Ranking Costello Britain's and Britain. Cross from right back, yeah. Good opportunity for Sunderland to break if they do win the ball as well, but everyone is back inside the penalty area for Sunderland. 
up with a yeah, caution. Sure Do they try and just fizz it over? Well, look at Dolan just waiting on the edge there, Danny, as yeah, well. Yeah, a little cut back, yeah. So Cam Stiles Stiles is edging his way across. Interesting. Rankin Costello just brings it into the Sunderland defenders. Rankin Costello gets around on nine, pulls it back, Smart expects it 2 0. That's 2 0, yeah. And it's that man again, isn't it? Johnny on the spot. Smodix make that 23 for the season in the league. Don't real, really deal with the first one as it comes up there. They recycle it, Blackburn. Dolan down this left-hand side. And we don't deal with it. We've got bodies across. Nobody makes the challenge. Let's have a look. See there, you got Mundell, Patrick Roberts. Little think ball in there. Luke Gunnine gets caught. Decent first touch, cut back, bodies in there. Got to be alive to it. Who's the danger man on the pitch? Who's the danger man in the league? Well, it's that man there, and he's been quiet in general play. But 35 minutes on the clock, he's helped himself to a couple of goals. And the minute look easy, Blackburn, in those yeah, they have, situations. Yeah. yeah, but if you look at the game as a whole, yeah, 35 minutes or so gone. I thought first 10 minutes we, we were okay, we started quite well. Probably the better side, really, and then Blackburn, we just allowed them into the game, really. They've passed the ball around, and they, th they probably thought, you know what, we can have a good go at these, and that's been the case. And they haven't really passed us off the park as such, have they? They've had no. a couple of set plays. I thought it was a generous one in, in the first place from the referee, but like, put that to bed, they didn't score directly from that. Blackburn have been sloppy in possession, if anything. Yeah, they give it away just as much as ourselves, really, yeah. He's Dolan. And Blackburn looked yeah. dangerous here. Hedges has come across and picked it up. Up against door nine. Smodix, he's on a hat trick. Squares it. Cross. Oh, so Frankie Costello gets the shot in. Yeah, got to get going here. here. They've got to get going. As you say, Mike Dodds comes out of his dugout to his technical area and he's got to get stuck into the lads and get going. They're seeing stars at the moment. Our Sunderland. After that performance down at Cardiff, yes, again, Cardiff, let's be honest, weren't great down there, but we took advantage of it and we looked somewhere back to our, say, our best, really, some of the football we played and the opportunities we created, but for, for 25 minutes or so in this game, it, it's almost like watching the Queen's Park Rangers game again, isn't it? Lethargic, you know, second best on loose balls and... <sighs> And Blackburn, as you mentioned there, Frankie, haven't really done anything special. Haven't had a, you know, stuck 20, 30 passes together and carved us open as such. Well, there's been moments in this first half where you can see why Blackburn are 19th. But we've obviously seen moments why Sammy Smodix has got so many goals this season as well. Well, there's that, and you can see, <laughs> you can see why there's moments why we're currently sat mid-table from where we were earlier in the season as well, yeah. Anyway. Dan Neal has it on that far side, looking to bring in Oshish, drops it off to Ramin Mundell. Mundell gets to the byline, crosses it, it's a low one, not attacked from a red and white shirt. No nine has it. Smollett's just hurt himself there, but I was just going to say he does that really well for the team as well. You know, all the goals he's got this season, but he works his shift off the ball. He's won his team a throw in there, but he's hurt himself in doing so. So anybody won't want to come off though when he's on a hat trick. Still 45 minutes and what, 10 minutes or so to go in this half. Yes, Luke O'Nine comes down on him accidentally in the challenge. Danny, we're halfway, well, more than halfway through the first half, only about six minutes away from half time. Yeah. The Sunderland fans are looking at each other saying, What's happened? Yeah, what's going on here? Shell shot, really, aren't they? I think, yeah. You look at the last home game, Queen's Park Rangers down in 20th, weren't they? Come up here, probably should have won. Let's be honest, they had some good good opportunities. Uh, and, and today, up against the side of 19th, having won for 10, and all of a sudden, you know, we're 2 0 down coming up to, to half time, see one or two already. Going for a bobble. Seen enough, getting themselves in for a bite to eat and a drink. Don't blame 
it's absolutely freezing this afternoon at the Stadium of Light. There's that goal again, yeah. Bodies across there, Luke thinks he can nick it, it's a good touch. I think, was it Costello that yeah, got Costello, to the byline? Costello who beats... And then that man there, you've got to be alive in the box there. And was, listen, you can say it's easy from up here after we've seen it back, but when it's happening, who's the danger man there? Nobody's touched tight. We've got four or five bodies in and around the six-yard box, but that man there, he's on the move. He wants to add to his goal tally, and he does. Yeah, it's just his left calf there. As I say there, he won't want to come off. Give it five minutes and try and get an half time to get some treatment. Down again, Smodix. As he receives treatment, we continue. There'll be a couple added on for that, and of course, the goals as well. Suddenly need to get back in this game. The sooner the juice, so the better. This committed Sunderland fan base who've turned out again in their tens of thousands on Weir side. And watching, of course, around the world here on SFC Live. Roberts down below us, loads of space again. Got to see things earlier. Come out of it. We're going, keep going back into the bodies. Styles looking for job. Can't hit him this afternoon. Thank the no, no, Friday. struggled to get into the game, hasn't he? This afternoon, Joe, so far. Is that more of a service issue, do you think, Danny? Uh, I think a bit of both. I think there's a couple of balls going into him that hasn't stuck as well as it did down at Cardiff. Uh, centre half have been on the front foot pressing him. Here's Styles. Mundle ahead. Equa with space and time to think about his next move. Good ball. Styles pulls it back. Oh! oh! So close for Job. Yeah, almost, wasn't it? Yeah, Styles getting to the byline there. She tries to pull it back, fizzes it. Keeper doesn't come. Joe just can't get on the end of it. Yeah, good ball from Dan Neal there. There's a little look up there, Styles. Smashes it across, doesn't he? Oh. A couple of inches away. And under pressure, clears downfield. This looks like it's going to spin out of play on the far side. It does. So we approach half time, still and find themselves 2 0 down. It's 19th placed Blackburn Rovers. It's been a bit of a story of that over the season, hasn't there, Danny? Suddenly not performing against the side. Size, the yeah, half. down the bottom end of the table, yeah. Straighten, isn't it? Mundo. Wild effort. Well off target. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it opens up for him. As I say, I think Daniel makes the, the overlap. It just opens up in that pocket of space for him. Uh, I mean, it's, it's got to be a worldy from there, isn't it? He's got two or three bodies as well directly in front of him. Let's say the horse war on there. It's been desperate from Sunderland. Those two. Not even half chances, Oshish with the header and Pierre Equa. Other than that, I can't think of us working the goalkeeper at all. Yeah, it was just that next phase of the game after that opening 10 minutes, you expected something to kick on, and the reverse happened. <laughs> the referees give a foul against Job. I am. I suppose he could have played on there, the ball Blackburn, gone back to the goalkeeper. But... Yeah, 
Job's not happy there. A few words with the referee. That is not it? Not at all, no. And we'll also discuss that incident that led to the first goal as well at half time because a few people thought it was soft when the foul was given against Patrick Roberts. Yeah, the, um, yeah, it was, was there, was it? Six minutes added on at the end of the first half. Probably down to the goals and Smodix's injury. Smodix, I wonder, didn't he? Obviously, the left back as well, Pickering. Yeah. Fans have seen enough this first half. Never mind an extra six minutes. Danny, are you looking forward to your half time, Bovril? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, indeed. O'Neill turns away from Gallagher, gets it back off Job, who's dropped for that one. Here's Patrick Roberts. Winning it, Chrissy N. Plays a good ball inside. Dan Neal shoots. Deflection. Well, Knight keeps it alive. Mundo. Ball is stopped. Yeah, it just wouldn't quite sit for Dan Neal there, would it? Just making his way into the box. Get the block in Blackburn. comes and gets that one. Yeah, just too flighty, wasn't it, from, uh, I think it was Oshish, standing it up. Comes to warm for pairs. Stolen by Trey Hume. Roberts now. Looking for his next move. Goes back inside to Hume. Two men around him. Pulls away from them. Then he delivers a ball out left to Mundell. Dan Neal's going around him. Mundell holds on to it. Neal. Mundell. Equa. Referees in the way. Just couldn't find the pass to Trey. Yeah, see what he's looking for. Trey just makes a little dart in behind. Equa tries to thread it into him. Too much on the pass. Frustration inside the stadium. I like to see it now coming into your picture there. Styles makes the run. What's that next one there? He's looking for Trey Hume, who's made his way across the pitch from right back. Downfield by Pears, easily headed back by Ballard. The ball breaks with Dan Neal momentarily. Ranky Costello brings it away. Dolan. Smodix is lurking. Trey Hume had to get there. There's just those little ones in the middle of the pitch there. You see Dan Neal just bounces off him a little bit and then Blackburn pick up the loose ball and they're on the attack again. That's been the story in the first half at times. Too many of those little situations, which has allowed Blackburn into the game. Christian. Dolan. Dolan trying to get around Trey Hume. Cleared by O'Neill. Christian. Still get a foul. Oh, Dolan didn't like Dan Neal trying to get the ball there. Yes. It's on Echo, isn't it? Just Gallagher brings him down. And Dolan comes across, I think. Stops his taking it quick.
He's on nine. Oh, doesn't stick to him. Trouble. Smodix running with Ballard here. Smodix puts it in the middle. It's loose. Well, nine gets ahead to it. Yes, yeah, a ball into Patrick Robertson's and it just bounces off him. And the committed bodies on that far side. Smodix up against Ballard 1v1, and I think that's it's crossed in there. We just about deal with the situation, but yeah, he's not got into the game at all. As he Patrick Roberts struggled in this first half, coming back from injury. in on the far side, Mundell emerges with it. Daniel under pressure. It wasn't a great ball to Ekwal. And Blackburn come forward again. Cleared by Patterson. Roberts competing with Christian. Referee brings the first half to an end. Boos around the stadium of light, Danny. Yeah, Boos in there, yeah, I can see why. You know, it's been a disappointing 45 minutes from Sunderland's point of view, coming off the back of that too much let's have a little bit of a go at them and that's all they've done as you say there Sammy Smodix currently sits on 23 league goals for the season well, Sutherland did once beat Blackburn 8-2 in 1931 play well in the second half to achieve that As we said as well, though, we've seen the lads warming up at half time as well. Will he, will he give it five, ten minutes and see if we improve in this second half? Yeah. And obviously, you've got Jack Change of personnel, returning yeah. to the bench. Will he look to bring him on a little bit earlier than he perhaps would have liked? I think the brain stopped a bit out there. Yeah, it's brightened up slightly, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Slightly. Still very overcast here at the Stadium of Light. Here's Dan Neal. Patrick Roberts. Trey Hume. This is Dan Ballard. Mundell. Has got space. Trying to work it out wide to Mundell, but he's dispossessed. And here come Blackburn Rovers in Gallagher. Smodix is on the far side through the legs of 09. Gallagher and plays again. it in. It's 3 oh. 0. It's a terrible start in the second half. And Ryan Hedges makes it 3 0 to Blackburn Rovers. Well, and everything we said and what Mike Doswell has said at half time has gone straight out the window, hasn't it? And it's Pierre Equat high up the pitch, tries to thread a pass, gets cut out. And then we're short at the back, running back towards our own goal. And it's Gallagher actually gets a bit fortunate. He tries to, to play a pass through, and it, it comes back off one of the Sunderland defenders there. I'm not sure who it was. We'll see it back into his path. Here we go now. Let's have a look. So Hedges it is that steals it, plays it into Gallagher. I think it's Luke 09 coming across as he drops inside now here. And then just rolls into his path, doesn't it, there? And then Dan Ballard, yeah. He knows he's got a man outside him, Smodix. But it's Hedges, isn't it? Drops into his path, takes a touch, and then he can go either corner. Sends Pats in the wrong way. 3-0 Blackburn, and you'd probably say as early as it is, that's game over. And again, they haven't really had to work hard for it, Blackburn. No. Well, we've just been opened up far too easily, haven't we? There from having comfortable possession, five, ten passes in their half. And as I say, Pierre Equa tries to thread a ball out to this left-hand side. And once it's cut out. We're all over the show, running back towards our own goal, and fans are streaming out below us. Well, they've missed it, and they're 3-0 down. People streaming out, people streaming back to their seats, Mr. Danny, as well, as ball's given away, Go and Blackburn come forward once again. Oh, Ekwa. Do you know what? I think it's Hedges, he's just about to look at Anthony Patterson's on the edge of his 18-yard box, <clears throat> and he's going to pull the trigger there and try and drop one over the top of the Sunderland goalkeeper, and Pierre Ekwa brings him down. I don't know if you can see it from this angle. No, I can't see down below us, but yeah, he's, he's on the edge of his 18-yard box, Anthony Patterson. 
That's Jack Clark. And sent out to get warm. Smonix is offside. But he did get a shot away. And he remains the target for Blackburn. He remains a danger for Sunderland. He'll be looking for the hat-trick goal, which is ominous for Sunderland. 3-0 down. Equa, under pressure, goes back to Ballard. He's Callum Styles now. The Rovers fans in good voice away to our left-hand side, as you would expect, 3-0 up at the Stadium of Light. Mundo goes inside, dispossessed by Britain. Ames clearance is charged down. Yeah, they're wrapping out Blackburn. They'll allow us just to have it at the back and, and rotate it between the, the back four. And then they'll just wait till we have a, a loose pass or try and thread a ball and cut it out. And we've just seen from that third goal there what they're capable of on the counter attack, Blackburn. Nine gets there. No width, Patrick's come narrow. Sunderland throw. Yeah, and as you say, Frankie, was it maybe a thousand or so Blackburn fans up to, to our left hand side enjoying their afternoon out now? And Neil goes back to Ballard, who stumbles. Smodix smells danger. Hume looking for Job, who's offside. Yeah. Just hasn't enjoyed the day he had on Friday, no, has he, Job? I don't mind it. I think that 50 minutes on the clock. That's the first ball we've looked to, to throw in behind Blackburn, though. Bradley Dack is warming up quite intensely, as well as Jack Clark down there. There's a shot of them both. feel it's only a matter of time. Yeah, with Mike Dodds and Mike Proctor discussing down below as the substitutions, I think. not going to plan is it you see little things like that there Patrick coming across the pitch just a yard or so behind Dan Neal runs out of play throw from Britain Alga tries to flick it on Ballard forced back to Styles. well I thought Ballard could have cleared it there he didn't have the angle, but neither did Callum Styles. Neil looks like it was fouled. Nothing given. Dolan could be in. It's four. Oh, no. Yeah, no, I don't think it is. I think he gets caught on the ball, Dan Neil. And well, bad to worse for Sunderland. See messing about with it in this left back position. Not really helping each other out. As you say, Dan Ballard played Callum Styles into trouble, put out for the throw in, and then folded it up with Dan Neil getting caught on the ball. And Blackburn helped themselves to the fourth. And well, as you say, as soon as the fans were coming back to take their seats, there's a fair few going the other way. Some look at it back now into Dan Neal. 
tries to let it run across his body, doesn't, he toes the ball, hedges into Dolan, skips past Ekwar Luko, nine, and so pokes it in off that far post. Sunderland they're going to make a triple substitution. And, and to be fair, Anthony Patterson's had to pick the ball out the back of his net four times, I'm not sure he could have done much with, with all four of them, to be honest. Had Adil Oshish, who's coming off, not sure he's touched the ball actually in the start of this second half. Bradley Dack it is coming on for him, and Romain Mundell's the other one coming off. And it's going to be Chris Rigg coming on as well. Three changes then. Well, you know where we go from here, Sunderland, 4-0 down, yeah, Danny, not even yeah. an hour played. Well, you look at it earlier in the season, it was at Middlesbrough beat us four up here, wasn't it? We had a bit of an excuse that day, obviously, Dan Neal getting sent off and, and 45 minutes with 10 men, but... What's the reason this afternoon, well, today, then, Danny? I don't know, we, we look short of energy, haven't we? You can't use the excuse that, oh, we played on Friday, Blackburn kicked off later than us, they've had three hours less to recover than ourselves, they've looked full of energy. We've looked nervy on the ball. We've put each other in trouble at times. Decision making's not been there. So they get a decision here. And the fact that we're four 0 down, I wouldn't say Blackburn have dominated us either. It's been from errors from our point of view, giving the ball away. We've been punished. There's Jack straight into it and welcome back. Dolan leaves one on him. Towards Job. Goes down. Rig tries to get there. It's out muscled. Lyon brings it away. Dolan. Someone chasing the game now. Massively. have your say about where you think Sunderland have gone wrong this afternoon can you pinpoint it get in touch in the post game program use the hashtag ask Danny disappointment for Sunderland fans around the world here on bank holiday Monday the Easter break Tyrese Dolan enjoying himself this afternoon. Yeah, it's quite lively, isn't he? When he gets on the ball, backs himself 1v1. In through the ranks, it's Blackburn Rovers. Tyrese Dolan, there's a few of them. They're known for that Blackburn, aren't they? Bringing their youth products through. Lads out there in red and white stripes as well. They've got to get their heads up and they can't sulk and got to get on with it. Still half an hour plus to go. And you're 4-0 down in your own backyard. It's just so different, isn't it, from the Friday performance against Cardiff City. Yeah. And every Sullen fan around us will be scratching their heads about that. Yeah, you can you can sense it in the stadium, can't you? You know, the players look shell-shocked and well certainly the fans do as well. And, Everything that was good about Friday, where both Dan Neal and Echo thought controlled the midfield really well. That's not been there today. They've been loose on the ball, getting caught on it. The third and fourth goals, you know, Echo tries to thread a ball, cut out, ends up in the back of the net. Dan Neal caught on it, ends up in the back of the net. And it's not just those two, you know, you go through the whole team, there's another one. struggling you know to pass a ball from A to B five ten yards then it is going to be a long gold afternoon well the Southern player gone down there off the ball is that Luke 09 yes Luke 09 holding his boots as Sam Gallagher's, Gallagher's done something to him. him Sam Gallagher's done something yeah. to him off the ball 
Yes, see the linesman's there. Luke Nine's not happy having a word with the linesman, who's five yards away. Let's have a look. It's a stamp on the foot, maybe. I'm sure, yeah. It's having a little go at each other, weren't they? Really. Keep an eye on Luke 09 and yeah, he's just back. He's a, big, he's a big old unit, isn't he, Gallagher? You can see there. Jack Clark dispossessed, but Sunderland get it back. Equa breaking with it. He's Job for Sunderland. Equa takes the shot on, oh. just wide. Yes, way out, isn't he? 30 yards or so. And as it's set back to him there, looking to bend it into that far corner. Oh, he's going away from that right hand side post. See, Joe attracts one or two Blackburn players. That's got a lot to do, hasn't he? To try and beat Pierce from there. Oh, he's gone down again. Holding his face oh, on oh, The linesman's right on top of it there. Surely he's having a look at it. What's the linesman going to say here? Well, listen, the from Gallagher's point of view, if he has cluttered, it's, it's stupid if he has. You know, this team have fallen up. Why is he getting involved? Let's have a look. Now, we've got another... And it's an arm round his face. It is, yeah. Right, referee having a word with his assistant. And, and to be fair, the ball's not in flight when he's through his arm. So nine Plus the fact that they're saying he's daft that his team have fallen a lot. Also, the linesman's on this side stood five yards away from him. He's got a bit of a reputation for this guy, like it, but so has Luke 9. And I think the referee's just going to give them both a little talking to. See it back now, look there. See, his arm's gone early, the ball's not even out of the, the Britain's hand taking the throw in. So, yeah, I don't know what the... It's certainly a yellow card at worst case, isn't it? So He's got a nosebleed off it. Be interesting to hear what the linesman's got to say to the referee on that there. As I say, he's pretty much three, four yards away from the two of them, so surely he's having a look at that. As it just happened, what, 10, 15 seconds earlier. Kalik has gone straight back over to 09. <laughs> Little nudge in the back. Styles involved as well. Meanwhile... Play continues at the other end. It's hard to believe how long's left in this game with the scoreline, Danny, from a Sunderland point of view. Yeah, two early goals when it started this second half. Took the game away from Sunderland. But as I say, you've still got half an hour or so. You've got to keep on going, dig in. And this time it's a foul on Gallagher. And Styles. Uh, Some fans trying to get the kicks from somewhere this afternoon. Left burn throw on the far side. Blackburn want to play us every week, according yeah. to their fans. <laughs> Wouldn't be 19th if it was this easy for them every week. He's 09, back to Anthony Patterson. 
Ballard under pressure, goes back to 9 Someone putting themselves into some bother here. This is Khalid in the end by 9 Styles jumps. Just in the ground, Danny. It's hard to have some yeah. feeling here. <laughs> Fans just feel... Well, the game's gone, isn't it? Yeah. So it just feels like a bit of a, a bit of charity match, really, or a testimonial, doesn't it? Where no atmosphere, as you say, a lot of the crowd have left. Blackburn fans are enjoying themselves. Three points on the road in the bag, they feel. Well, that comes away with it. Tries to pull it through for Job. I really. Morton was always going to get there. Yeah, just needed a little bit more. It was a good driving run from Dan Ballard, wasn't it? He plays the ball in behind, needed another yard or two of pace on it to allow Joe to run onto it. You see there a few glum faces amongst those Sunderland fans. Can't blame them. It's Dan Neal. Styles waiting for movement ahead of him. Can he play in Chris Reeves? He's offside. offside. Good run from Chris Reeves. Yeah, good little ball from Styles as well as it was getting tighter for him there. Options went on, just leaves the ball over the top. But as you say, unfortunately, Chris Riggs just straight offside. In our top of your picture, it goes too early. Looking across it, it's tight. A huge win for Blackburn as well at the wrong end of the table. They'll have their eye on the other results of the championship this afternoon as well. We'll give John Eustace his first win as Blackburn manager, which is strange to say, isn't it, Danny? Yeah, no, it's been a long time for him, hasn't it? And after a well, good season he was having with Birmingham as well. Round of applause breaks out around the Stadium of Light. The fans show their appreciation for the passing. And the Sunderland supporter Tommy Lynn involved in many of the away trips for many, many years. And one of the people behind a very famous song, She Will Peter Reed, which supporters did in the 90s. Yes, yeah, Gallagher making way, I think that's sensible from John Eustace. As you say, he's been getting involved, hasn't he, with Luko 9. He won't want to lose him to a daft red card. I think it's a good substitution from their point of view. So Andy Moran comes on. Gallagher being replaced. Everything gets out of hand. Yeah, it looks like further. Smodix has, has gone up top there and Moran's just dropped in behind him in the 10 roll. And I'm a wary of Danny as Smodix is still looking for that hat trick. Yeah. But again, he's been quiet, hasn't he, in the second half in, in general well, he play? He's had, fir yeah. First half until yeah. he's got his opportunities, generally speaking. That's not bad, though, is it, for a striker? You know, if he probably has eight or nine touches in a game maximum. You look at Haaland, for example, and doesn't get involved too much in the game in general, but more often than not, finds the back of the net. And well, that's been the case today for Schmodix. Looking at you know, looking around the team, it is difficult. But I've been there as a player. Most players have where you're, you're getting beat as heavily as they are. The body language from the players isn't great at this moment in time. Just having a look around, one or two shoulders it drop down, and you know, feeling sorry for themselves. They've got to keep on going here. A long way to go in the game.
Trey Hume. Looking for Jack Clark. Finds him. Clark. Cuts in on the right. That's where he likes it. Too many Blackburn bodies. Moran. There's a forward. Cut out by O'Neill. Styles helps it on for Jack Clark. Dan Neal now. Trey Hume. Clark puts it in the middle. Oh, no takers. Yeah, just feeds it in across the six-yard line, doesn't he? Goes right the way across, out the other side. Nobody getting on the end of it. Who should be getting on well, the end of it there? Of course, trying to get oh, there. Job's in there as well, down. but movements, yeah. Take a gamble and go and get yourself a goal. I think Dax touched the ball yet since coming on. See Dak and, uh, and Chris Rigg on the far side, feeling that's a Sunderland ball. Daniel through the legs finds Dak Daniel's advanced comes off the back of Job still battling hard goes down he's not going to get that it looked like he was going to get the ball there yeah I guess similar to his, his penalty on Friday there wasn't it whether he's lost his foot in trying to get across his man and goes down oh there's a loose one there it's covered by Wharton There's the ball inside. The no, Lee has come out. Tronstadt. Dolan. Moran. Hedges. Moran pulls it back. Hedges is in. Stopped. Yeah, again, good build-up play down the right-hand side, wasn't it? Moran and Hedges involved. He just reverses it back into Hedges' pass and just pops up off him, off Dan Ballard on the cover. <laughs> just can't get going Sunderland at all, can they, this afternoon? <laughs> A few more heading for the exits there. But you can't blame them, can no. you, Danny? There's still... You know, probably about 20 minutes left in this game, with added time, at least. And there's no green shoots out there this afternoon for Sunderland at all. Come forward from the back, looking for Hedges, drops it off for Moran. Moran, inside, Rangan Costello. Thinks about his next move. Pings one across, looking for Dolan, who's pulled off the back of Chris Rigg. More changes. Friend Rovers will make a couple now. John Buckley's going to come on. So is Dylan Mark Handy. Yeah, Rankin Costello making way, had that effort in the first half, didn't he? Blocked by Luke 09 and then obviously set one up, was it the second, I think, got to the byline, pulled it back for Schmodix. So he's contributed this afternoon. See, Blackburn just freshening it up, trying to see the game through now. Last 15 minutes plus. John Eustace there, big smile on his face, and why not? It's four 
changes for Blackburn. Sunderland have made their three, their triple up they did early in the second half. Following Dolan's goal to make it four. Styles. Jack Clark back from injury. Styles loses out. Mark Andy goes down. The corner. I've had many corners in this game, Blackburn. This is only the second. I say we three you've got down for ourselves and they, they were all in the first felt five, ten minutes or so, weren't they? during that first 10 minutes where Sunderland looked like they were the ones that are going to go on and win the game. Well, cause problems at least, weren't they? Yeah, exactly that. And, well, you know what, in a way, it's, it's been similar to the Cardiff game where the Cardiff actually started well, didn't they? First five, 10 minutes against ourselves. And then once once we got the goal down there, they went to pieces and couldn't keep the ball. And it's been the case this afternoon for Sunderland. Dolan runs into Chris Rigg. Assistant flags it. Out with it, gives it to Jack Clark on this left hand side. <laughs> Don't think he knew where the ball was there. Blackburn attacking with intent again. Moran stopped by Job, picked up by Jack Clark. Ball. Strong challenge on Equa, tries to take it quickly. Daniel! Oh, oh, it's a good cross! Goal. There we go. Chris Riggs! Ball back to that. Pierre Akko gets the ball down, you know, get, get the free kick, play with a little bit of purpose and get the ball moving. And we haven't seen enough of that, have we? All afternoon. Chris Rigg, yeah, following it at the far post. Was it Bradley Dack with the, with the header, was it? I see you now, yeah. Daniel stands a decent ball up for him. In behind. Again, something we haven't seen enough of this afternoon. And Pears can't get enough on it to parry it to safety, and Chris Riggs there to follow up. 16-year-old Chris Rigg gets another for his tally this season. Blackburn's clean sheet has gone. Cancel and ask some more questions. Does he have Nass enough this afternoon? Finally, the Sunderland fans have got something to shout about. Equa under pressure. Tries to dig a pass out for Dan Neal. Dolan skips around. Still going Dolan. Trey Hume had enough. Foul. He's quite busy and bright, Dolan, isn't he? <laughs> Enjoying himself out there. Trey just tries to steal it off him. Let's have a look back. That was enough in it. Have a look. A little bit of a nibble at him. Goes down quite easy, but.
Britain. Gets it back. Numbers forward every time, haven't they? Blackburn and Edouard commits himself. No foul given right in front of the referee. Dan Neal. Sort of fatigues there, Dan Yeah, Neal. he does, Dan. Yeah, I was going to say that earlier on. He's, he's, he's looked quite leggy today, Dan, in there. It's not happened for him this afternoon. steps inside Moran's with him no foul Britain under pressure from Bradley Dack Dack of course up against his former side yep. Attendance was jeered within the stadium of light, but it's, it goes on tickets sold. And until Blackburn really put this game to bed, there was still quite a lot of people in here. Not as many now. As Mark Candy gets on the end of this. Oh. Oh, Smodix pulls it across, and that's yeah, five. number five. Will it go down as an own goal? We'll see it back in a second. But well, that is the last straw for many of these few thousands still inside the Stadium of Light with 10 minutes to go. It's 5-1. Yeah, as you say, yeah, we'll see it back now. I'm not sure who's got the final touch on it in there. Have a look at the game, we get caught, and they just look sharp, aren't they? Setting off, well, for the remainder of the first half when they, they got themselves in front with a couple of goals, but Blackburn, Mark Andy out on this right-hand side, up against Styles. Couple of step overs, crosses it, little deflection there. Smodix gets a bit on it. And it's Moran. And it's Moran there, following it in. A couple of yards out. 5-1 Blackburn. Sunderland conceding five at home. First time this season, certainly. First time in a long time. those Sunderland fans seen enough getting themselves on the road strange one to you know you gauge An Anthony Patterson's performance again conceded five I'm not sure he could have done anything with that any any of the five to be honest there's been how many three is it four of them within his six yard box really Smonix couple in the first half that one there point blank the one off the post out yeah now does Mike Dodds debrief this one <laughs> well how do some of fans debrief this one because well we'll find out <laughs> well I mean, what they're gonna <laughs> do they're gonna boo at the end mm. but you know all the things we were saying before the game as well where he's getting one or two back out the treatment room you know that the performance down at Cardiff uh, 80 odd minutes or so was excellent the ball's just played in here as Callum Styles arriving late at the back post didn't get a good Gosh, contact yeah. on it it, 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 the contrast is just 
strange, Danny. Yeah. It's Friday. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. You know, getting that lift as well, you know. Oh. On the road down at Cardiff, you, you get those three points. And just mentioned there, the performance was much better than what we've seen. And then you're back at home in front of your home fans and you think, come on, get a bit of energy about us, but it's just not been there. We play within ourselves too much at times where keeping the ball is all well and good, but you've got to move the ball with a bit of purpose. You know, how many times we say where we, we, we're playing into bodies far too often, see where the space is on the pitch, play away from them, and, and then it's just invited Blackburn into the game. You could sense it in that first half before they got the goal. It was coming. Deep cross from Equal. Bypasses everyone. Luco Nine keeps it in. Rig. Skips one challenge. Finds Jack Clark. Too much on that one from Clark to Equal. Equal crosses left footed. Oh, Nine keeps it alive. Into the arms of Inslee Pears. Had a pretty easy afternoon. Yeah, I think it just comes off Chris in as Luke 09 heads it back in, takes the pace off it. Five minutes left, plus added time. We've seen goals, we've seen substitutes, so we will see a little bit added on. Come on, then, we'll front it up. Tell us what you think about today's performance and where have Sunderland gone wrong from Friday? I thought you were going to ask me for a man of the match then. I won't do that. <laughs> Use the hashtag Ask Danny on social media. Keep it clean. Offside by Smodix. Yeah, cap it off for Blackburn, wouldn't it? Smodix getting his hat trick, and he's had that one a moment ago, which was eventually finished off. Moran. Moran, wasn't it? Yeah. He looked like he almost mishit his yeah, Smodics. Smodics, yeah. Went past the yeah. goal. It was a little bit behind him, wasn't it? Rig. They dig out a pass. Too much on it for Jack Clark. Chance of a, a Sunderland fan come over just before the game as well. <laughs> he brought his two grandchildren for the first time to the stadium of light as well. Oof. Surely be better next time. Mm. Can only get better from there, can't it, for them? Keep the faith. What are you doing here? Let's give a Sunderland throw win. Chris Rigg. Luke O'Neill. Jack Clark. And Neil. Smashes it into the chest of Dolan. And Moran comes away with it for Blackburn Rovers. Slide there from Trey Hume. Wins the ball back for Sunderland. Equal to the right-hand side, finds Trey Hume. Chris Rigg on that far right-hand side. He's got a goal this afternoon since coming off the bench. Oh. It's Christian. Oh, he's now starting on Job as well as Christian. He's not happy. It's a bit needless, all this, isn't it? Chris Rigg. Yeah, Chris Rigg. Yeah, started the free kick away. They had, a, they had a couple of words, didn't they? And then Joe comes across to, to fight his corner for him. Lots of word with Joe as well. Christian on loan from Aston Villa, the 20 year old. Wants a fight with Chris Rigg, who's 16. Job sticking up for his teammate.
Well, it's hard to pull out a, a man of the match. It's probably hard to pinpoint someone who's had a, a really, really bad game. It's collectively, it's been collectively, bad. yeah, through the side. Yeah, go back to what I said before the game. You can, you can maybe carry one or two, can't you? And the others all have to put in a performance. Well, as you say, there's not many coming out of there this afternoon with with more than maybe a five. Let's be honest. Candy gives it back to Britain. And so we await added time. Yeah, and the big disappointment is as well, Frank, the fact that you know we're not playing against a Leicester or a side who have been flying all season here, have come and run circles round us. We're talking about a team who haven't won for, for 10 games, uh, struggling for results down the other end of the table, and they've come up here and enjoyed themselves. Four minutes will be added on as Jack Clark tries to get inside the Blackburn box. He has done. He stood one up by four for Trey Hume. Doesn't get a great connection on it. Callum Styles, Dan Neal, Clark, it's good to see him back on the grass for Sunderland, Jack Clark, if we're looking for tiny positives from this afternoon. Sunderland's next game, of course. Saturday of this week, back here at the Stadium of Light. Bristol City are in town. Someone will have to be a lot better than they have been this afternoon as Jack Clark carries it. Bradley Dack, deflection. Oh, Job couldn't finish it. Yeah, it's a bit of a half chance. Well, the first one, yeah, decent strike from Dack, isn't it? Good save from the goalkeeper, and then. I think the follow-up was actually played into Job, I think. So we see it back now. Jack Clark squares it there. Could save from the goalkeeper. And then, yeah, it's Wharton, isn't it? The skipper who tackles it almost into to Job. Got another couple of minutes of added time. Under pressure here. Not really helped out by his teammates. And he's Smodix. Smodix, does he want that hat trick goal? He's smashed it off the back of Callum Styles and gets the corner. Yeah, Pierre Echo was asking for a free kick off the lines, but I don't think it is. He just gets. But was Equan given the ball well, yeah, in awkward position? They, they, they played each other into difficult areas at times this afternoon. They have it. Again, you look go back to the, the goals early on in the second half with Dan Neal off the throw in and the build up to that one as well. The lads haven't helped each other out at times. We've got to be stronger in situations like that as well. Styles tries to clear it. Goes out for Blackburn throw. Inside the final minute of the suggested four to add on. It's been a long old half, hasn't it, from a Sunderland point of view, this. point of view Danny yeah. hard to watch there will be a reaction from the fans at the referees full-time whistle but it's all about the reaction from the players on Saturday against Bristol City from here on in and Neil Looking for Job through the middle. And that might be that. And it is Danny Quickson. Yeah, and that is those boos, as you said, Frankie. And yeah, what a disappointment to say the least, isn't it? After what was a decent performance and a result on Friday to follow it up.